I asked Cephas to join us in this very important forum today to bring in a perspective of Cephas's program in East Hartford where he joins youth and police in a, in a very uh, appropriate dialogue. I think that today's uh, forum was the start. As uh, Senator Coleman said, we scratched the surface, but it was also allowed legislators and panel members to get an understanding of, of some of the tension that goes on and to start to address some of the concerns that, that many people have. And I thought Al Terzi did a fantastic job with moderating and it was very refreshing to hear from some of my colleagues in the General Assembly understand some of their point of view and some of the very, some of the very telling issues that they have. Very heartfelt when I, you could hear from some of our colleagues who, when are pulled over by police, hear chains and put their hands up and recall a soul-searching uh, activity that reminded them of slavery that was very, very bothersome to me. And it's something that I think we can immediately start to take a look at. Cephas certainly brings a great perspective to this, having served the community of East Hartford, which is 80% uh, uh, minority, very diverse, over 60 languages spoke at East Hartford High School. Let me just turn it over to Cephas and have him talk a little bit about what uh, we do in East Hartford mm -hmm. with this program. Well, one of the things that we do is we bring police, officers, and youth together. And what we do is we start by getting them to do activities, adventure-based things, so that they can do the activities and actually learn a little bit about each other before they really get into the discussion about respect, which is a huge issue. Um, talking about why the police do what they do. And the police also learn why kids say what they say, do what they do, feel what they feel. And there's this mutual back and forth and dialogue. And if I had to pick one thing that I came away from this, um, this gathering today was respect. And how do you help people respect each other? How do you help them empathize, understand each other? And I think we have to be creative and find different ways. And I think in East Hartford, with the program that we have, it's been very successful because it's different, it's, it's unique, it's not just sitting down talking. We have to get them to a place where they're ready and able to talk. So um, I was very happy to be a part of it. And you know, I think as we go on, we're going to have more officers. So far, a third of the police force has been in part of the program, and over 360 kids have been a part of it. I think we're going to see change in the way that at least the youth interact with the police. And I think we've got other things coming down the road because this program has been so successful for us.